Tonight, we remember former First Lady Nancy Reagan. A spokesperson says she died of congestive heart failure at her Los Angeles home earlier today. She's widely regarded as a trailblazer who changed the role of the First Lady, and now millions are mourning her loss. At 94 years old, Nancy Reagan had left the spotlight, but much of her life was lived in the public eye. Born in New York City on July 6, 1921, she would go on to marry actor Ronald Reagan in 1952. The two would eventually make an unusual transition going from Hollywood to the White House. By the mid-1980s, uh, she really was one of the most popular first ladies in modern history. Her approval rating by 1985 was something like 83 percent. So she, she went from being something of a minor embarrassment to, to really one of the most popular and well-liked first ladies in modern history. David Courtright is a history professor at the University of North Florida. He also authored the book, No Right Turn, Conservative Politics in a Liberal America. In it, he takes a look at the time of Reagan conservatism and its effects on American politics. Courtright says Nancy Reagan was a different kind of first lady, one who wasn't shy about what she wanted. She was a person, frankly, uh, whose wrong side you did not want to get on. And it wasn't just personal with her. It was her husband. She saw herself very much as a protector of her husband. Accused of being a communist sympathizer at one point, Reagan was later cleared. She never left her husband's side after his assassination attempt and successfully battled breast cancer in 1987. Both Nancy and the former president are survived by two children, Patty and Ron. I think that she was a very significant figure in history. I think I think we should honor her memory. I know that in many respects she was a controversial figure. But she was a, a real pioneer, and she was a real difference maker in what was historically one of the most important administrations in modern American political history.